Welcome back, gentlemen, uh, to Let's Play Soul Nomad and the World Eaters Devout Lord mode. I've leveled up a bit. Uh, I'm fighting, you know, reasonably strong people in here. Uh, some of the rooms have been a lot more strong than this room. Actually, this room's fairly weak. We're doing a lot of damage. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to do this last map completely alone. Uh, no help from anybody else. Because screw them, we're the Devour Lord. We don't need any help. So, I've leveled up this room as far as it will level. And I've leveled up the main character, well, to level 435 so far. Uh, it only took me 20 minutes or so, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, and it, I was... I was more focused on leveling. If I hadn't been more focused on leveling up the room, uh, I would have leveled even more. It's just that I wanted to get this room up as much as possible. Uh, I didn't want to... Okay. Uh, the amount of GP we have is more money than can be counted. We have tons. We'll head back. Oh no, okay. We'll... Never mind. We were getting, uh, basically the money I was getting was tons. That's, that's all that was measured in. Uh, so we'll get rid of living now. And put in... Uh, what? What's... I got know what I'll put in. I'll put in the, um... Burning Blood. Uh, if you notice, we get 150 from that, and we get 7 more field and special tactics from that. Uh, because we've leveled up the room as much as it can go. So we're a killing machine. Well and good. But, wait, there's more! Cutie, cutie, god of death. Uh, we need to restock and retrain. Not rename. Retrain. Train, just train, rather. Let's get... What do we got? Yeah, no, not that. That's useless. You want, oh, we can only... Huh, okay, we can only get one range up, despite the amount of stuff I did. But we can get... Uh, 31 Act. And... One more skill, and some extra stamina. And males will throw into that. Okay. So, our main character is now... Ah, crazy! Attack is at 7,695. Uh, HP at 4,000, stamina at 148. Nothing is going to stop us. Nothing at all. We don't need anyone else's help. We will maybe buy some uh, more vacations. We can afford that now, but we don't need to do it. I'm going to re-strengthen, actually, now that I think about it, because we don't need that weak and we used last video anymore. I've, uh, made it pointless. Uh, just in case, though, we will... Where are we? Need to take... Oh, okay, no, the vacation's enough. Where are we? Is it? No. Ah, here we go. We'll take that vacation. That should be more than enough healing. And what's Super Gigafy? 50. Why not? Just in case we need to get a quick 100 levels. Uh, you pick up Gigaf Gigafies and all that from the inspections as you get lower and lower. They get better and better. We'll save and go on to the final battle. By ourselves. As it should be. Yeah, final battleground. Need to eat. Huh. Both laners were always that way. I'll never get stronger if all I do is worry. Let's do this. <laughs> Yo, I think I have what it takes. <laughs> I can help, them. help the world. To be honest, I never thought you'd make it this far. But you've earned the family name many times over, to be sure. 
heroes do love their speeches. I thought villains were the ones that love their speeches, but heroes just go on and on and on and on. I'm pretty scared, but I can't hide from this anymore. I always saw myself as an outsider in this world. Never thought of it as my home. But this is where I draw breath. Where I find meaning in my wasted life. And I won't let you defile my home anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna defile your home. I know how much it hurts the queen to come on land like this. I'm going to just destroy it. So I shall do my best to alleviate her suffering and end this quickly. Our queen is healing the humans. Has the time come? <laughs> you you know what? There's no point in shedding your hatred at the eleventh hour. If you're gonna shed your hatred, shed it a bit earlier when it might have done some good. We'll find out after we win this battle. <laughs> This is actually, I did get past that last battle because I got up to this one the first time and I died and I got an ending. Dig. The power of the world eaters are arrayed against you. You will finally know the bitter taste of death. And I just thought you were supposed to lose it, like it was just supposed did to happen. Anyone get it out of their system? Anyone have anything else? No? Nobody? Then let's get it over with. Ready, kid? I was born ready. Everyone get ready. This is it. Bring it, bitches. Oh, how many pawns we have arrayed against us. Let's go after the Dwarf Eater first, shall we? 230. First of all, last act. I think we lose a bit of that uh, act boost every single turn. Uh, so I'll keep an eye on it and keep using it when it. What are we. Yeah, see, so we're at 46 now. Can't use Demon Blast. <laughs> 13 Demon Blasts. Can't use it yet. So we're going to keep Demon Forcing him for the moment until we can use Demon Blast. If we actually are going to be a. Actually, you know, we should probably save Rexha for later. Uh, we want to destroy a whole bunch of these dudes and. We need to fight him when we've got lower stamina. Uh, we've got three turns of just being completely un unhurtable. Goodbye. No, I'm not worried about those two, so I'm not going to kill them just yet. I'll leave them till later. Just mostly going to go after the named people first. Well, I mean, I'll kill whoever gets in my way. Like, this turn, I can't... I'll just kill these two, and then... Uh, I'll kill Odie and Endorf next turn. <laughs> Look how fast they fall, gentlemen. They thought they could beat me. I don't know why. I don't know what, what like, they... I don't understand why they lose over and over and they lose and they lose and they lose and they lose and they think that somehow this time will be different. This time we're not going to lose. Uh, you are. You just are. You can't, you can't win. You just can't. I don't, I don't know where your headspace is that you think that, oh, we're getting tons now. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think that it's just because it's too big to fit in that little box there. Turn three, this is our last turn of invulnerability. Uh, have we got, oh, we've got Dio of the Evil Eye up there, but I, I don't think he can do enough damage to hurt us. Demon Blast. Goodbye, don't even need to do it. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be worth using last act again, I think. We'll be back down to 31. No, no, we're back. We're still on forty, uh, and I honestly think that's enough. Yeah. 
Goodbye. Uh, don't try to hurt me. Just don't. And, okay, we've lost our... We're at zero stamina, so this specific turn is a bit of a worry if someone attacks us, but uh, after that, after we use vacation, we'll be fine. Oh, wait, no, we're not at zero stamina. Of course, Silent Walk isn't... I was thinking I got it mixed up with the other one. Goodbye. I think that the Devour Lord is the most powerful character of any Nipponichi game. Um... I don't know. I suppose it's a bit like uh, saying, you know, Superman is better than Batman, saying that the, the, the Vow Lord is more powerful than um, Lahal and all that. But I just honestly think that he is. Um, and you'll see why in a second. <laughs> Very soon. Hey, he's actually going to hurt us with this. <laughs> Oh no, 1000 HP gone. Goodbye. Uh, even more powerful than... Oh, what's the one from Makai Kingdom? Well, even more powerful than him. He's the one... The Gideons actually look a bit like him. Oh, hey, we're out of Demon Force. Okay, uh... Well, uh... Let's use a Gig Edict. Uh, the using that gear, I mean, we need we need the stamina. It can't, uh, it does. There was no other consideration. So even though it means that we can't um, use. <laughs> Zero, 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 zero. We can't use Demon Blast for a bit. It's still worth it. Uh, it's probably about time to use Last Act again. Let's see, how much degradation? Yeah, it's down to 35. Damn, it's a pity we ran out of, um, <laughs> they're lined up in a perfect row for de uh, Demon Blast? Demon Force, rather. I need to remember which one's which. Run as far as we can to try and get rid of some of this damn stamina. Because otherwise it's going to take too long to kill these dudes one by one. <laughs> Gotta go after the head of the snake. Few other games do have sort of similar. Well, I don't know. Other games have like evil modes, but I don't think any of them live up to the way that this is. So, uh, it, it's built up so well, especially coming after the main storyline where you, you kick the living shit out of all the. Uh, the uh, sorry, where you you become the hero and you save everyone, and, and then you, you get this where you just destroy everything and it's glorious. Um, Whereas in a game like KOTOR or something where you can be evil, uh, it's still the same storyline, you know? Like, you're still doing basically the same things, and the people, the characters are basically the same. Uh, and, well, I mean, the characters are basically the same in this. They're the same characters. Uh, it's just that because the circumstances are so different, uh, they change a lot. Uh, they develop differently, is the important thing. They're not just... They don't just suddenly all, like Atten in uh, KOTOR suddenly goes, Atten? 
Not Adam. Uh, maybe the first. No. Who's the. Is it Disciple or something? No, Disciple's 2 as well. I just remember some of the characters in Co the first Kotor game. No, it was the second Kotor game. I think it was Disciple, where Disciple's just like. They just do these face heel turns and suddenly they're evil, but nothing else really changes and. Uh, they don't act any different. Uh. Whereas this, it's a very... Oh, Atten. Atten does act different across the, the course of the game. Uh, if you are evil, but... Um, apart from that, they don't really... And it's still not that big a difference. Whereas in this, it's a big difference. There's no there's no doubt that... Um, the, the divergent paths are completely... Every single character acts completely differently by the end. But you see the logical steps along the way, or at least most of them... To them acting in that manner. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do is finish off this bastard, go to uh, Raksha's extreme range, and uh, go for the most powerful hit I can. The most powerful hit of the game. Uh, finish it off with a bang. So, where, where's, uh, his... I think it's there. Oh, I'll miss... I've forgotten where. I'll just hope that's it. <clears throat> okay, you can't hit me. Which is, uh... Okay, I can go one closer. Or two closer, rather. And I'll use Vacation. Get us back up to full health and full stamina. Okay, attack power. Attack power eight one nine seven. Attack power twelve thousand. Attack power. Sixteen thousand. Now the question is, how fast is the degradation? Because there's probably going to be a plateau at some point. Attack power... Oh, okay, no, it's, we've already hit it. It's uh, not going to get any higher than that. Because we're going to lose it too fast. 14,000. Oh. That'll have to do. Although... Uh... He might just um, do it a few more times so we can hit him with a Demon Blast because the first hit isn't going to kill him. Uh, oh no, we're at 16,000 now. Oh, that's a cap. Right. Okay. So even if we use it then, he can't get any higher. I guess it's like 100% or something. Oh, you know what? We're going to watch this. We're going to watch this. It's, it's probably going to be the final turn of the game. And the final attack of my Let's Play. So, let's go. Demon Blast. Attack for 6,000. Go, Obsidia. Mm, he might survive this, actually. Oh, well. I lied, it's not the final attack, or it might be. I could do enough damage. Certainly gonna get close. Yeah, we're probably gonna do it. Look at that damage go up. <laughs> final hit. 5,000, and dead. Goodbye, world eater. Goodbye, heroes. Goodbye, world. Although in some ways it wasn't the last attack of the game, but we'll see that in a second. Is everyone dead? <laughs> yep. Not a single one left. Hooray. That takes care of all the annoying insects. Nobody left to bother us. Us? You satisfied? <laughs> no. Oh, don't tell me you're all lonely now. Hey, I 
should be more than enough company, right? You and me together forever till the end of time. I would probably do that. Like if it was me, I would I would have a lot of fun with Gig. Um you know, fucking around till the end of time. But <laughs> poor little Gig. I'm hungry. So hungry. Eating your soul. Hey! Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> you had your fun gig. You were trying to get my body, but hey. No, no, you can't. You can't eat me. Not after all this. What, you think I have compassion after what I did? But why? How can you... Oh, well. I need more. Power. <laughs> I love that laughter. There's still two more people though. Hey, there's a whole other world. But I don't think we want to kill that other world individually. Drizil, by consuming Gig, this soul has attained the power of an overseer. And the path to the other world is still open. At this rate, both worlds. Indeed, Halfness. We must make contact. Oh, wow, you idiots. You idiots, because at the moment he's Devour contained. Lord. Devour Lord? We are contained to a single or contained to two worlds. I am Halfness, god of this world. Oh, but after we devour a god. What do you desire? Nothing. And I am Drazil, god of the other world. The power you've gained rivals even our own. But with such power comes a certain obligation. <laughs> you have to stop this <laughs> destruction. Oh, people still telling me to what to do. I don't want to. Don't you understand? Our two worlds might disappear completely. And you along with them. Do you really think I'll disappear? Fine. Halfness, I'm sorry. This is all my fault. I planted the seeds from which this disaster grew. Oh, it's nice to see Drazil can feel remorse. Um. You know what? We're scientists. We should test out this theory that we'll disappear as well, gentlemen. No, it's my fault. My words. They couldn't reach this lost soul. My soul's not lost. It's everyone else's souls that are lost. Nobody can find them. Then there's nothing we can do. We have only one path left to us. That path is to die. Very well. If that is our only choice. That which rules all. Asher, please grant us your divine grace. <laughs> so you're bringing down an overgod. All you're doing is giving me more, more fuel. We, we must use this power to stop the evil. Just try. Demon Blast. How? Even, Even without gig. Demon Blast. Oh, the world. Demon Blast. Into nothingness. <laughs> Demon Blast. Anything else to say? Is this... Is this what you wanted? Doesn't matter, it was fun. And... That's it, gentlemen. We destroyed the world. Two worlds, both worlds. We ate the gods. We not only ate the overlords, we probably ate the proper real god as well. Um, but since this is definitely part of the Nipponichi universe, so we like, uh, it's part of the Nipponichi multiverse rather. Uh, we can tell because the you can get Gig and Rasha, in, R Rasha. I don't know. You can get Gig, sorry, and um, Raver, the main character of this game, as 
DLC in some of the other disguise. So we, I'm pretty certain it's the same. Uh, it's all part of the multiverse. So I like to think that we go from world to world now, from netherworld to netherworld to real world to real world to earth to everywhere. Devouring, eating, gaining more power, destroying everything in our wake, leaving a swathe of destruction that will only end when the multiverse ends. Because once you get started on this sort of path, nothing can stop you. Really. I mean, what is going to be... Every single victory that the Devour Lord has makes him more power. Hakes makes her, actually. We've got it as a female this time. Makes her more powerful. Uh, so even if Lahal comes up level 9999, reincarnated a billion times, the Devour Lord's just going to eat him and get all of uh, his power as his own. Her own, rather. Yeah. I wonder if there's an epilogue. There might be an epilogue. I don't think there is, though. Not in, uh... This mode. We'll see. You may as well hang around. Stick around. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, if you've watched it. Uh, I know there's not many at this point, and I'm starting to despair that there will be a lot. Not that it worries, worries me that much, because I really enjoyed playing this game. Uh, I really enjoyed playing the Devour Lord mode. And I probably wouldn't have been able to play it again had I not done it as a Let's Play. So this will be the last time I play this game. Bit of a bittersweet moment. I won't... I'll put this game away. I might... Maybe when I'm old and grey I'll take down this game. And uh, remember it. Uh, if you sort of watch this how I watch Let's Plays and that's sort of half watching, half doing something else. Which is really what Let's Plays are for me. They're sort of like background noise. Um, then I suggest that you play the game proper, like, by yourself, because it doesn't... Let's Plays are great, and, um, you know, I don't know whether I add anything to them. I might not. You might just think I'm an annoying voice. Uh, Retsu Prey would certainly say that I was. Uh, I don't... Yeah. Anyway, but they can be good, and the, the voice can add something to it, and I certainly wouldn't be able to watch uh, Let's Plays, like, watch, like, a game through without someone talking over it as background noise and sort of half paying attention to it. Um, but playing the game yourself is the real thing. Like, that's... It, it, nothing compares to playing a game yourself. And uh, I really think that this is a game that you should play for yourself. And um, don't don't use the level up trick I used, at least not until the Demon Path, because you sort of need it on the Demon Path. They, they level up too quickly. But um, don't use it on on the main storyline, or it gets very boring very quickly. Uh, you can use it a little bit, but even even a little bit's usually too much. Uh, and if you do use it, uh, strengthen enemies. Make sure they're at similar levels to you, so you're not just cakewalking every single battle. Because uh, they can get quite tense if you're at the same sort of level. Uh, so many other games I wish had this mode. How fun would it be if you... I don't know. Like, Sui Coden, you went through and played, and instead, at the very beginning... Or, no, instead, you, like, instead you join Luca Blight or something. Uh, you, at that beginning, in that beginning scene, you somehow convince him to, that you, to, to spare you and you join up with him. Uh, you know, the sole survivor, one, one person left, saying how horrible those enemy troops were. Uh, Luca Blight would go for that sort of thing, and then you just spend the rest of the game killing the people that you recruited last time, slowly driving some of them insane as they join you, teaming up with Necklord, you know? That sort of thing. Just great fun. Even if it's just, instead of like a 20 hour game, it's like a, it's like a three or four hour thing. Like this is a, this is, instead of 20 hours, this is, you know, three or four or five hours. Uh, but it just adds so much to the game for me. It's, this mode is what, makes this game, like, puts this game up at a plinth compared to most other games. Uh, I mean, you sort of get a little bit with stuff like uh, KOTOR, and you sort of get a little bit with stuff like uh, Lucifer's Call or Nocturne, as it's known in the States, uh, where you go through, become a true demon, and, you know, fight God. But it's not to the extent... And if anyone knows any other games that, that where you do that sort of thing, where you do what happened here, or similar, uh, for God's sake, tell me in the comments, no matter how old it is, 
because or no matter what the graphics are like because I would I'd love the shit out of that sort of thing um yeah Suicode 1 you could turn it with Windy any any god that'd be great um you know you kill Ted and then Windy discovers that Soul Eater Rune won't join with her so she uses you as a pawn to I don't know something kill off the Liberation Army as they grow in power to try and defeat you <sighs> all hail the devout lord is what I'm saying <laughs> such a pity that more games don't do this I think we're near the end of these credits and we'll see whether there's an epilogue I don't, I don't think there is I can't remember there being an epilogue and it doesn't need anything more than that what we just saw where we killed Finn. Okay, do we get an epilogue here? I won't... I don't think I'm going to bother showing you the other ending that you can get. Um, you just get trapped with the net forever inside of a Crimson Tear when you lose that battle. Anything? Anything? Or is it going to go back to the beginning of the game? <sighs> okay. Save data. Not that I'm ever going to use it, but... Oh, whoops. Uh, and I saved over the final battle, so I'm definitely not going to show you the other ending. Gentlemen, I'll see you in my next next let play. Next next let's play. If I get it to work, I might actually do Alpha, alpha the Protocol. Continent of Predesto. I will see you on the other side. I will see the you. The ruling war had finally ended. On the other side.